give him a few weeks of training. He's extremely good at running. So what exactly were some of the injuries that have been bugging him the last like couple of years? It's generally lower leg stuff that he deals with, but he's actually strung together a good little stint of healthy training right now. Um, and I'm excited to see how he does. Another athlete in here, Isaac Updike, uh, ran the 818 steeplechase out at Hayward earlier this year. And then everyone's favorite, Eric Holt, another Empire Elite athlete, is in the field coming off his victory there. At, in Kansas and recent appearance on the Sidious Mag podcast learned a lot about him and so Luciano Fiore is our rabbit here tonight the cannon and immediately on him from New Zealand is Julian Oakley Julian Oakley has a personal best of 339 but I've seen him run some great 3Ks before we know how talented he is and uh, for him I think that tonight is going to be one of the best opportunities he's seen as he approaches 300 meters in 41 high 42 really perfect and you can see that Merber planning services logo in the corner how nice dad is going to be pumped but Luciano is doing a great job Eric Jenkins just behind him and Eric Holt in third they're looking very very strong through 400 meters in 56 high 57 flat it's really interesting to see where Eric Jenkins is at so far uh, in his career, I guess, with his focus uh, right now dabbling in a 1500. He's supposed to maybe double back in the 5K later tonight. Uh, it's just something that, you know, he's really trying to get sharpen all those tools that have made him successful in the event. In 2016, finished fourth at the Olympic trials in the 5K. So we'll see. We'll see what he's got. And I remember he had a great showing at the Fifth Avenue Mile a couple of years back. So he's got that miler speed and won an NCAA title in the 5K as well. So he's a man of all trades. On the outside of Eric Holt's shoulder, that is Garrett O'Toole. And behind him from Central Park, Victor Palumbo, as they come through, two laps to go in 143. So they've slowed a little. They're starting to settle into that 60-second pace. Hopefully our rabbit up front realizes that, senses it, as they are starting to pack up a little bit and start stringing them out again before he steps off. At 800 meters, they are 158. So just a little bit slow on that last lap. But the the race, oh, we have a fall. It looks like Victor Palumbo may have gone down. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, no one else really got tied up with 600 meters to go. It is still Luciano up front with Julian Oakley behind him and Eric Jenkins. Tucked in in the middle right now is Colby Alexander. I barely recognize him. He's got long flowing hair and a mustache going on right now. Yeah, and he is wearing just a plain black jersey tonight as our rabbit steps off in about 228, 229. So they're going to probably start hitting the gas soon here. Um, you know, I think that they're definitely cognizant of the fact that the pace has slowed. Look at the arms on Eric Holt right now. He's... He, he, He's but going for it. A huge move by Nick Dahl swinging up to get into position with 400 meters to go. He's just on the outside of Julian Oakley, but Eric Holt is there to follow him, and Peter Callahan is tracking not far behind. The other thing about uh, that you've mentioned before in Kansas City and now here today is when you've got 340 guys all bunched up together, each one of them is pushing themselves ready to really pop, and that's what we've got going up in the front right now with Eric Holt and Nick Dahl. Nick Dahl ran 340-22 in Connecticut back in April, two, less than 200 meters to go. That was, Eric Holt is up in the front. Dahl responding. Dahl very strong to immediately pass back, but Peter Callahan has a crazy close. Julian Oakley, who I thought was done, is now reappeared with 100 meters to go as they go outside, and it's Eric Holt versus Nick Dahl. Julian Oakley is seeing if he can respond, but Eric Holt seems to have that one final gear, and it's going to be another victory at and the Trials of Miles. That is a triple crown. A triple that is, crown. That is what we were talking about. We, we floated the idea to him uh, on the podcast. I was like, all right, you've got to win in Texas. You've got to win in Kansas City. Can you pull off the triple crown? He just did it here tonight. 339.85. That is a personal best for him. First time he's gone under 340. Look, you know, Eric Holt has proven himself as and a guy who can interview. win. We do get another interview, which will be good. He's running over to the crowd. He's signing autographs. I think he's kissing a baby. Wow, he's pumped. You know, we just need to get him in a 335 race. That's, That's what right. it comes down to. He's, oh, my God, what is he doing? Wow, look at this. Oh, wow, he's getting the whole crowd going. He's fired up right now. I can't wait for this interview. I said it in Kansas City, and I'll say it again. He is going to deliver here as well. Oh, man. He is really just 
Someone's throwing him a stop Holt shirt, I think. No way. Yeah, I made that up. But <laughs> really, really pumped. This guy's an entertainer. He was hilarious on your Sidious Mag podcast with Go back him. and listen to that episode about two weeks ago, I believe now. He, Allie's going to end up getting 10 seconds with him. Oh, my gosh. We need way more than 10 seconds with Eric Holt. All right. Let's get ready for the Eric Holt show. Eric, holy cow. This is for you. You seem fine. Do you want to take this interview on the run? Like, you seem like you've got a lot more in you. Uh, triple crown winner, as we're calling you. Three-time Trials of Miles winner. How does it feel? Uh, you know, it feels really great. It's just funny because, honestly, like, I just need to work on my confidence because I see these names and I'm super intimidated. But, um, you know, s slow and surely, I'm learning to believe. And I love the fact that all my friends come out here. They still support me, you know. And that's just so great to have, to have people who support you. So you cross the finish line with the win and what I understand is a personal best. Yes. You kind of shrugged after you finished. You were just like, oh, yeah, I did that. What was the shrug about? Uh, well, I thought if I won, I would run, like, 336. And then I saw that I only ran 339. And I'm basically shrugging because I know I have more in the tank. And I know I have more to give. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know where the camera was. Uh, yeah, no, uh, for sure. Uh, uh, I just know I have a lot more to give. And I'm so thankful for, you know, the opportunities my club and everyone has given me. All right, so give us a quick for everyone who's watching this on our live stream. When it comes to confidence, give them a bit of advice. How can everyone go home and work on their confidence today? Well, you know, the reality is to have confidence, to have the confidence to win, you got to really believe it. It's one thing to have confidence and like, hey, I'm cool and all, but it's another thing to truly, in your inner subconscious, believe you can win. Believe that you're out here in the beautiful New York, and you can win this thing and take down a, a lot of great, talented runners. And honestly, I'm just we glad to be out here. here. We're glad to have you. Congratulations. Amazing job. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Back to you guys. Never fails to deliver. I just love him so much.